So this is a fan fiction idea that I've had cooking in my mind for the longest time. This has been in my uh, thoughts for about as long as I can remember. And that story is none other than Darkseid vs. Nagash, a DC Warhammer Age of Sigmar crossover. Um, so this was one I was uh, I put on my Patreon poll, but it didn't win. Still like kicking around in my head, so I was like, "Hey, how about this its own thing? Like, how about I make this um, into its own video?" So that's what we're gonna do. And I know what some people are like, "No way, Nagash could never beat Darkseid," or you know, it's not even a contest with Darkseid or Nagash. But I was like, "Hey, they're two gods of the dead who want to control life over death," and it made a lot of sense. This is a fiction. Yeah. So here we go. So the story begins basically with Nagash essentially like he's in the underworld. He's just like being, you know, his dickish self. But this time around, Nagash is attempting to look out into the universe using his almighty god powers. He's basically like reaching out into the ethos of the uh, of the universe and just kind of like poking around to be like, mm, I wonder what's out there because he's like he's starting to feel like this pull like he's uh, recently in the in like uh recent months he's basically been feeling this weird energy pull at him like essentially like this weird calling out to him and that power is called like has been like it's been so at first he was just like in the under like nagash basically uh, was like at first he was like it felt like a, a whisper in my ear and I was like huh that was weird and then that whisper grew louder until it became a, a scream I can no longer uh, deny it's basically a power that he has been attempting to you know gain uh, power over uh, over and what is that power it's none other than the fucking anti-life equation essentially he doesn't know what that is like all he know like Nagash basically has um, detected the energy of the anti-life equation because in some rep representation the anti-life equation is like treated as like an energy so the anti-life equation um, essentially has been calling out to Nagash and Nagash is like me wanty <laughs> woo me wanty that's how Nagash has been reacting to all of this nonsensical crap. Now, Nagash essentially wants this power to gain to get the thing he's he already has, which is life over death. But that but you're probably thinking, well, Nagash started out as a necromancer. He already has power over life, uh, you know, lot power of life over death. But that's the thing is that he basically there's so much more. There's so much more to it than you can believe. The whole thing of it is that Nagash wants to have power over life over and death in the form of like the other gods you know he wants to have a one-up over sigmar and the, the uh the chaos gods and the other gods in the in the panthe in the uh warhammer pantheon he essentially wants to have that power of life and death and be able to control them bend them to his will so he believes through the power of the anti-life equation, he will finally be able to do that. However, as he's like, you know, being Nagash, for, uh, for lack of a better word, you know, just being Nagash, um, as he sets out to leave this, using his power and taking his armies of the undead, you know, the Ozark, bo uh, the Ozark Bones, um, some of the vampires, he even gets like Manfred and, and Lemuria, uh, calls them up and is like, you guys, now we're going. So Nagash heads out into the uh, into the uh, ethers of the multiverse. However, that didn't go unnoticed by Sigmar. That in no way, shape, or form, it didn't go unnoticed by Sigmar, who essentially was like, "Where the fuck do you think he's going?" So Sigmar did discover what Nagash is up to, and he's heard about the anti-life equation, like, you know, through other pantheons of gods out in the universe. He's like, yeah, I'm a god, and I've come to understand that there are other gods out in the universe. And one such god he encountered, he actually, like in this, Sigmar is like, yeah, in my, tr like, in my time as the uh, lord, uh, you know, it, god, the king of the gods of this pantheon, I basically encountered a guy named Metron, and Metron, like, told me about the other, like, he was just perusing through the multiverse, and he encountered me, he's like, hi, I'm Metron, I'm a new god, and he's like, new god? I wasn't aware there were old gods, and he's like, oh yeah, you're one of them. 
So Metron told him about, like, New Genesis, Apocalypse, and he told him about the anti-life equation. And Sigmar is like, there is no fucking way we can let him have the anti-life equation. However, someone's kind of already um, looking for it, too. And what Sigmar does, because he can't leave uh, his world unattended or else the Chaos Gods are just going to be like, ooh, Sigmar's gone? Go! So instead, Nagash, excuse me, Sigmar instead has a really, a, a, a uh, he decides to pull a Nagash on well Nagash by using his energy to redirect Nagash to someone who is equally as evil as him. He accidentally, break, he actually sends Nagash to Apocalypse and all of his armies rather than find the anti-life equation. Now, Nagash, when he arrives at Apocalypse, he's like, hey, wait a minute, I wasn't supposed to come here. And Darkseid is like, hmm. It seems we have an unintentional, an uninvited guest. Destroy him. So, Nagash is since he's he's so incensed because he already feels like Sigmar. <laughs> um, so Darkseid and so Darkseid and Nagash's forces go out in all-out war because at this point Nagash is just like, well, since I'm here, I might as well, you know, figure out what the anti-life equation really is. And this dark side guy seems to know, so I'm gonna go to all. I'm just gonna go at an all-out war on him. So dark side and Nagash uh, throw down, and the two armies just uh, of the uh, the armies of the undead and the armies of Apocalypse clash. Like you have Lume um, Lemuria fighting Granny Goodness and the Furies. You have Manfred going head to head with um, Calabac. You have just the undead and parademons fighting ghouls um, left and right. It's just a straight-up massacre on both sides of the conflict. It is just a shit show. And during all of this, um, Sigmar is just like kind of watching this because Metron shows up and he's like, Hey man, uh, that whole thing you did of sending... Uh, dark side to fight, you know, Nagash to fight Dark Side. It's kind of ruffles some feathers. Why'd you do that? And he's like, I figured it would give him a taste of his own medicine for one, and two, maybe we can have Dark Side and Nagash die, or at least one of them, and it serve us both. But I do see that, at, like, that's kind of uh, like I've been around Nagash too long. This is awful. So, Sig, he and Sig, uh, you know, Metron and Sigmar. Um, are like watching the fight because they're like we cannot get in the middle of that and Nagash c it confronts Darkseid head on and he is just like I am going to like I don't know what you are you're clearly something but I have to know about the anti-life equation like Dar like Nagash has gone like full like I have to know what you know and you're going to tell me and he's like but what are you and Darkseid replies with Darkseid is so Darkseid and Nagash fight, and the two actually have like are tearing chunks of Apocalypse just out of its core. And Nagash thinks he has like a upper hand on Darkseid throughout the fight. Like he thinks throughout just the entire match, he is just pummeling Dark like pummeling Darkseid, and he's like, "You, I don't care what Darkseid is. Nagash is now." And Darkseid is like, "Do you think that?" And because Darkseid hasn't shown like he's been beat up, but he hasn't shown any uh, like. Uh, pain or anything, and Darkseid essentially is like, do you really want to know what I am? As I said, Darkseid is. So he opens up a boom tube and unleashes his true form, and as he said, he's like, as I said, Darkseid is, and just Omega beams the shit out of Nagash, um, and all it hits him in a force so powerful that all of, you know, the armies of, of Nagash feel his agony and pain and they are just like what the fuck was that and dark side like dark side showed his true form and even nagash is like dark side is and he's like you learn pup you learn so dark side beats down nagash but before he can like d deliver the killing blow metron and sigmar show up and he's like hold dark side you can't kill him he's part of a pantheon from another one he's like yet he came here and he's like I understand he was looking for the anti-life equation. I do wonder how this wayward god learned of that Metron, and 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 he's like, hmm, odd, isn't it? And and he's like, he also looks at like Darkseid looks at Sigmar, and he's like, he already puts it together, like, oh, Sigmar, like to keep him from the anti-life equation, he sent him to me, and he's like, what an dishonorable thing to do for an honorable god. 
So Sigmar is already like, well, this has been a shit show. I'm just going to take Nagash and his armies home, and you will never see them again. Um, and he goes, Lord Darkseid. I like that. Say that again. Like, he forces him to call him Lord Darkseid twice. A and by the end of it, Nagash is, like, just kind of, uh, like, in the underworld, just kind of healing himself, and he's just like, I think I know what's going... Like, they... Like, I... People always ask, like, what could scare a god? Darkseid is. So... There you go, guys. That is Darkseid versus Nagash. Um, I know, like, when you compare, like, when you really see what Darkseid can be capable of, it's like, whoa, there's no way Nagash could fight that. But it still is a really cool fight idea for a story. But anyway, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Darkseid versus Nagash? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.